Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. This is the Upper Zora's River. It is nighttime because there's a Poe over there, so let's go get it real quick. This one can be a little bit tricky to get. Uh, oftentimes, if you try the charge attack while you're on this hill, then you'll just miss like that, and uh, jump attacks miss a lot too. Also, for some reason, the ending blow will miss a lot if you're not like right on top of them, so pretty much that Poe was in the worst spot possible. <laughs> And it's kind of annoying. Anyway, next we need to be warping to Zora's Domain. Now check this out. I, I think this is just hilarious. So, we're just going to warp in here, you know, come from the sky. All these, all these little black squares kind of materialize. These Zoras don't seem to care that much. But, if we try to get up here and transform into human, no, 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 someone will see you. You know, like it matters now. They've already seen me, you know, warp in. Uh, I guess seeing me transform into a human after that would be like the... What is that saying? The straw that broke the horse's back? That sort of thing. So we get to jump down this waterfall again, which is quite fun. And there's uh, there are two poses in this area. One's on the east side and one's on the west side. So we're going to be getting the one on the east side first because that's the quickest. There's a bug up there that we got. I think that's the male dragonfly. They all, like, respawn after you get them, so I got you can get them multiple times if you want, I guess. I don't know. Whoa, don't fall off, man. Whew. That was really close. So there's that Poe Soul, and now we can just jump back into the water and head over to the other side. Let's go through this waterfall here just to be cool. No, oh, you can't? That's kind of stupid. There's actually a physical wall there keeping you from going any further. So to get the one here on the west side, we need to do a few minute jumps. You might be able to see the lantern up there. Oh, <laughs> thought I'd be able to get it. Oh, that's not fair. I couldn't even see half the time, man. Okay, this camera is just not working. What happened? He just like came up through the ground there. Man, that is weird. Oh, well, anyway, we finally got that postal, thankfully. Jeez. Okay, so now we're going to go somewhere completely different. We're going to be going to Kakariko Village, which is that one. Yeah. It helps to memorize your warps, you know. It saves a little bit of time to know which portal is which. So there's actually quite a few Poes around this area as well. Uh, there's only a few that are in Kakariko Village itself, but uh, there's some, there, there's like, there's two above the bomb shop, there's two in the graveyard, and then there's one in the Death Mountain area. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call Epona because I'm going to need her in a little bit. And I can ride her over to the bomb shop anyway. Makes a little bit of a faster trip, I guess. Though if you add in the time it takes to actually summon her, I'm, I'm not sure uh, how much quicker it actually is. Thankfully, this bomb shop seems to be open 24-7, because if it was closed at night, we'd be pretty much screwed for the moment. But we don't need anything with barns. We just need to come up here and go through this, uh, this window or door or whatever it is up here. I guess it's a door up here. So the two poses that are up around this area are, uh, well, there's one right over there. Uh, over there. Uh, I, I roll into that every single time, don't I? So let's just get up here by it. It's in the wreckage of his old uh, bomb storage facility that we blew up quite a while ago. So come on, get down here. There we are. We got that one now. You got the postal. All right. So now we want to be heading up to the, the highest building part, the part where Tallow is usually stationed. I don't think he's there at night, though. So let's just go this way, and the other Poe is right here. I love that charge attack. That's, <laughs> that's just so useful all the time. Alright, and now we need to be actually walking to... Whoa, that was a long fall the Death Mountain area. Uh, I mean, if you look on the map, we actually have a warp there. 
it's up here, but it's actually a lot quicker to just not take the warp and walk in there. So let's go back into a human. We actually have to be a human to get there first. Because along the way there's going to be these Gorons that are boosting us up. You know, you get on their back, get on their back and they jump you up to the next area. So <laughs> the other day I chased you off without listening to what you had to say. Please accept my apology. Yeah, you're the one who's stuck down here now and can't get back up. <laughs> so I feel kind of sorry for you, but So there's that one. Now let's just go up along the path in the second Goron. We're actually going to need to uh, kind of take a little detour uh, after getting his boost. See, as you can see, the postal is way up there, but how are we supposed to get up there? Well, it turns out, if you go to the second Goron and talk to him from, like, sort of this side, I guess. Want to go up? Yeah. If we get on his back, but launch ourselves to the west, which is on this wall, instead of going up like we normally would, we can just grab onto that ledge, which is pretty awesome. And we make our way up here then, and we can get this postal here. Now this one, uh, you want to be really careful of. I kind of took that hit there on purpose, because I knew if I followed through with that charge attack, I would probably just jump right off of the, off the ledge here. Alright, so now from this Poe, we want to go back to the north. It's probably easiest to do this as Wolf Link, because he seems to have pretty good traction on these uh, on these slopes here. Alright, uh, yeah, there's still stuff there. And eventually, as we keep going along this ledge, if you remember, this is actually a ledge where, um, where a bunch of archers were on earlier. And, uh, is, there a, is that a baby Goron up there? Oh, someone will see you. Come on. Can I at least hide behind this thing? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, get up there. I've, I've never actually noticed this guy before. This is the this is a baby Goron. You saw me? I'm surprised you noticed me. That's it? You don't say anything else? Whoa. Creepy. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess that was fun. It's kind of cool though. I never even noticed he was there. Kind of like the uh, the baby Goron from Majora's Mask. Kind of looks the same. He's he's a little bit fatter in this game though. Okay, so on that little cave opening on the left there, we get a heart piece. So it's our first of five for our next heart container. Uh, now that we've gotten that, we need to be going to the North Farren Woods here. There's actually only I think there's only one thing we need to do here. Uh, there's just one postal that's in this area. So it's been a little while since we've been here. Not not too long, though. We need to be going back into this area with the big purple fog that still hasn't cleared. The purple haze, rather. <laughs> I guess. So if we come over to the right on this dock, we're kind of on the west side of it. Like this, after you jump through the first time, this is where you would end up. So we need to go, uh, we need to go back and start the whole jumping sequence over again. So we can jump down on this side and uh, do this whole in the jumping series that we've done a few times before. We had to do it the very first time we were turned into a wolf and had to uh, had to get into the forest temple area. Like, not into the forest temple, but just to get in that area to get all the tiers of light or whatever. We had to jump across the fog this way. And the Poe is in the big hollowed out tree. So that takes care of this area. Now, I'm going to warp back to this Kakariko Gorge area. And there's actually a couple things we need to do around here, too. There's another one of those cave under a boulder sort of things that we have to do here. That's probably going to... It's not going to take too long. It's it's a lot shorter than the last cave we were in in Lake Hylia, so... There's only a few junctions we have to worry about. So I think we need to go south from here... And somewhere along here, there should be a boulder. I think it's that one back there, yeah. That big rock there. Somebody actually messaged me about this like a long time ago, back when we came through here the first time. I don't remember who that was, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> they, they asked me why I didn't go in this boulder to get the piece of heart that's down here. Well, the reason I didn't, I, I didn't know at the time, like I couldn't remember, but uh, the reason that I didn't go in here is because there's actually also uh, a pulso. Wait, what? Oh, this isn't the right boulder. <laughs> okay, well, we got those out of the way. 
Yeah. Okay. Wrong boulder. Sorry. <laughs> My mistake. But anyway, there is a boulder along here somewhere. I know there is. Oh, I see one back over there, too. Yeah, there's not one that way. Well, let's try this one over here. And that's good, though, because I, I guess, you know, this wasted a few of the, uh... Whoa, hey. Can I hit, kill you with that bomb? Aw, oh, crap, it didn't hit him. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, yeah, here's the cave we can go in. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, as I was saying, the reason I didn't go in there before is it's actually a post hole, and I want to get both of those at the same time. But anyway, we're uh, quickly running out of time, so in the next part, we'll head into this cave and get what's inside. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.